everyone, welcome to Judah's Corner. Today I'm excited to bring you my Read Through the Bible 2013 Challenge Week 8 Wrap Up. This week we pretty much zoomed through the bulk of Leviticus. We read Leviticus chapter 9 all the way through chapter 26, almost finishing the book. But the part of this entire week's reading, there was so much reading, but the part I kind of want to zone in on today is Leviticus 15 verses 25 through 30. Here's what those verses say. And if a woman have an issue of blood many days out of the time of her separation, or if it run beyond the time of her separation, all the days of the issue of her uncleanness shall be as the days of her separation. She shall be unclean. Every bed whereon she lieth, all the days of her issue, shall be unto her as the bed of her separation. And whatsoever she sitteth upon shall be unclean as the uncleanness of her separation. And whosoever toucheth those things shall be unclean, and shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. But if she be cleansed of her issue, then she shall number to herself seven days, and after that she shall be clean. And on the eighth day she shall take unto her two turtles, or two young pigeons, and bring them unto the priest, to the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall offer the one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for her before the Lord for the issue of her uncleanness. Leviticus fifteen twenty five through 30 as I read these verses, I couldn't help but think of the woman in the New Testament um, who had an issue of blood. And while we're not told this woman's name, we are told volumes of, about her situation. In fact, she's mentioned in three of the four Gospels in the New Testament. And I think when we put this woman's story up against Leviticus chapter 15, we get a whole new look at what life for her was truly like. And plus, on top of that, we see just how much she was actually risking by going to Jesus, by pushing her way through the crowds and, and daring to reach out and touch his garment. For 12 years, this woman had spent everything that she had on doctors and it, probably any kind of method you could think of to cure this disease. But the Bible tells us that she was, wasn't any better of, of all the things that she tried, of all her money that she spent, she was, she was not any better. In fact, she was worse. By looking in Leviticus, we see the isolation this woman had that, that even, I mean, she couldn't be around people. She couldn't, if someone touched her, they would be unclean. Um, if, if someone even uh, touched the bed she laid on or a chair she sat on, then they would have to, you know, be, they would be, have been exposed to possibly getting this disease themselves. I think there are three things that we can learn from this woman. The first thing that I, I've learned from her is to come to Jesus as you are. I've heard so many people say, you know, well, when I get my life straightened out, then I'll start coming to church. Or if, uh, you know, if I can just fix this or that that's going on in my life, then I'll come to Jesus. I'll just fully surrender and give my life to him. But the truth is, like this woman, we can't, we can't straighten ourselves out. We have to come to Jesus first and let him straighten us out. Let him do the work in us. Let him cleanse us. The simple fact is we can't fix ourselves. Jesus wants us to just say, I'm going to come to you as I am in my mess and everything, my messed up life. You know, I can't fix it. I need you to fix it. The second thing I have learned from this woman is to come reaching out. You know, this woman, she wasn't thinking about the crowd. She wasn't thinking, what are people going to think? What are they going to say? You know, if I do this, if I really trust God, if I really reach out and touch his garment, you know, she wasn't thinking of how she might be ridiculed or rejected. The third thing that um, I learned from this woman is come expecting. You know, she said, if I can just, if I can just touch his garment, then I'll be made whole. You know, he doesn't have to say a special prayer over me. He doesn't have to even acknowledge me. If I just, if I just touch his garment, I'll be whole. And that took a lot of faith. This woman's faith was showing big time. I want to ask you today, what have you spent your life 
on, trying to fix in your life? What have you spent your money on? What have you spent all your time? You know, whether it's your marriage or other relationships in your life, if it's your finances, if it's uh, your 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 physical body. You know, you you've tried to lose weight or you've tried to uh, quit smoking or you've tried you know uh, anything in that in that area of life. Uh, you know, and you, you've tried this method, you've tried that method, you've, you've spent money, you've spent time to, trying to fix it, and, and maybe it's not even any better. In fact, maybe it's worse than when you started out. What I want to ask us all today is do we have the faith it takes to reach out? Do we have the faith it takes to simply believe that God is the solution? Do we have the boldness, the audacity, the, the, the faith it takes to come to Jesus just like we are. Not trying to clean ourselves up, not trying to make ourselves look good for Jesus, but just here I am, God, in my mess, in my problems. I, I'm coming to you. This is me. Help me. Fix me. Make these things right in my life that I've just messed up. And I guarantee, just like this woman, God's not going to reject you. He's not, he, he's going to accept you. He's going to make you whole. He's the only one that can. So I just want to encourage you today. If you've been, if you have an issue, this woman had an issue and she tried everything she could think of. You know what? It's time to stop trying to solve it yourself and come to God. I'm going to leave you today with something a little different. I'm going to leave a, a link for a song below this video and I encourage you to go and listen to it because I think it's powerful and I think it, it totally speaks about this woman and what she experienced and what you can experience today if you just reach out to God. Reach out. He's reaching out to you. So from Judge's Corner, until next time, happy Bible reading. Bye everybody.